episode. So, Deku is gonna get all those quirks, yeah. And as I said again, I've been saying it for weeks, for, for a year. I don't know the first time, I, thought, I think I thought about it last season. You know, I'm the only writer in the manga. But I did it in my review, like last season, I believe, in the, you know, with the Navy Lakes or the season one. I was like, oh, I think all the quirks. And I said it again, of course, being in this season, I get all the quirks. Uh, it was quite obvious that he did all the quirks, right? So, the way it works, right? I think it's pretty straightforward, um, as he explains it too, right? That every person that has a quirk before Deku, right? Because all of the quirks, right? You now Deku's gonna get every person's quirk for that's been in the the lineage uh, of his quirk, right? Because it's kind of collected everyone else's quirk. So, uh, yeah, I guess it's gonna, you know, see the order. People who are going to see, you know, all my masters or whatever. going to see all the other characters, I suppose. And they're eventually going to give him uh, his power, the, 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 the power strike. Uh, which of course means Deku is going to be super OP, right? So first of all, let's talk about that. Because I said this thing, um, yeah, in episode one or something like that. And I, and I, I haven't changed my mind now, of course. But I feel that, I mean, it's cool. Deku is going to be able to, I, I suppose, combine all the power strikes. And so on, so that you can like probably use black lightning with maybe some speedster thing, whatever, right? But it also that Deku is gonna go so incredibly OP, right? This was this was a sad lesson, yeah. That I feel that Deku is gonna go into this like absurdly, you know, OP state, right? We see in the preview there, it's like getting the black lightning, putting it down right into his hands. We're gonna fight with those whips, right? It's gonna black whip lightning thing, and he still has, you know, the. The all might, you know, physical strength, right? Uh, which I guess I had too, for that matter, but still. Like, it's gonna combine, you know, the, his uh, increased physical, you know, uh, power strength compared to a normal human with this, like, black lightning whip strike. So that, that's, that, you know, is powerful, right? But then eventually, he, of course, is gonna be able to, I don't know, maybe have an ice power, right? Maybe be able to fly, maybe we have, like, a speedster power. He's clearly gonna get more and more powers when he can combine them all, right? So, so it's gonna be... I mean, in the end, he should be able to have uh, all all the cars at the same time. It's gonna be it's gonna be ridiculous, you know. It's gonna be like, doo, 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 doo. yeah, it's gonna be. Deku's gonna go so so incredibly uh, overpowered compared to all the other characters. And uh, I mean, the thing is that <laughs> a guy like Deku with all these quirks, right? It's just like the other characters. <sighs> the problem I have I have with the most is that. I have, have a hard time seeing the other characters being very relevant in a fighter. If Deku masters all his powers, right? So he has like at least seven quirks or more in his own quirks. Well, yeah, that's the one, right? It's like, I have a hard time seeing the other people being relevant in, in the end of the storyline. Because they can only, you know, excel with their powers as much as they can, right? Uh, so even if Bakugo is like twice as strong, double explosives, right? Deku's like, I have seven quirks, you know what I mean? Like, if it's hard for the other characters, to have any remote chance against Deku, uh, including the bad guys. So that means that the bad guys need to get also bigger and bigger and better and better, right? Um, which means that the other characters, like Uruka or whatever, is gonna be like, how can we fight the bad guys? Because the bad guys have like 10 quirks, <laughs> whereas we can't fight them, you know? So, uh, yeah, that, that's been my concern since I thought about this uh, since last season, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I guess Deku's gonna get more and more quirks and get stronger and stronger, right? Um, <laughs> it's gonna be... Dick is gonna get so OP. Um, you know what it reminds me of, from like a story aspect? It reminds me of Smallville. If you've ever seen Smallville TV show, which of course uh, Clark Kent uh, as before it's Superman, right? And like every episode, Clark gets a new power. It's like, ah, oh, my eyes hurt. Oh no, I can see through stuff. Oh, I have a free spread this week. Uh, this week I get like super speed. <laughs> you know? Small is that like, every episode he gets like, a new power, yeah, because Super has like so many powers, right? That thing is gonna be this thing now with Deku. Like every arc is gonna get a new power. Oh, this arc I'm getting like uh, flame red. Oh, next arc I'm getting like uh, shrinking power or something. <laughs> it's like, let's fight Deku. It was a great scene, right? It's like helping Uruka save Deku for Uruka after this. But, uh, man, I feel sorry for Shinjo as always, you know. He's my favorite character, so I'm with the bias. But I'm just like, when he had his moment there, and he's like, I wanted to fight this guy. I wanted to show him how I have improved. I wanted to get my revenge. And then Deku is like, Ah, oh, my powers! And he's going crazy. And he's like, oh, But I, I want to fight him. What's happening? Like, what happened to our fighter? Um, 
Yeah, I, I honestly feel sorry for a lot. Uh, again, right? Again, I'm biased. I think he's the best written character, but I think he has the coolest backstory. His you know, powers being forced, pe people bullying him with his uh, evil power and so on, right? But, <laughs> but yeah, imagine being this guy. You're finally back for revenge. You finally have a chance to join, you know, the, um, the hero team you dreamed of your whole life, right? Because it was like, you couldn't fight the robots, right? So you couldn't get into the class A, you class B. And he's finally here to fight the goddamn plot of our main character. And he's like, oh, I'm losing my power with a new power. And he's like, yeah, this happens again to me. I mean, since last time he lost because they could suddenly, you know, awoke a power. Right? So, um, yeah, I think it was a sad scene, honestly. I could really feel for him that he's like, but I just want to fight this guy. What, what is he doing? Why is he going like this friendly fire thing? Like, I, I want to have an actual fight to show people my skills, right? And they said they have to save him. Um, and uh, of course, Deku immediately gets out of the mind control. Uruka was there, but also because it, it probably could have just gone through it, right? His in, in, inner power. So, so, yeah, that felt sad. I mean, I was hoping for you know him getting his revenge here. Um, but maybe next week, then. Maybe next week. And I liked it in the preview, we did say it a bit of Aisava's has a, him training rights and so on. So, next week might be a really good, like, Shinji episode. We see him improving his powers and his training, and he's like, and. I mean, it would be cool if we still could beat Deku, even if Deku is getting a new power here. Right? Deku is getting this black whip lightning thing, and if he still can defeat him, uh, you know, that would be make Shinji look even better, right? Um, so, uh, but uh, but it's one thing I like with Shinji too, for that matter, honestly, is that when Deku went, you know, crazy, right? Shinji was just kind of confused and afraid of him. Yeah, so I like that that Shinji was like kind of like the you know, he's like an unexperienced, inexperienced uh, fighter, right? So Deku's like, ah, going berserk. And he's like, maybe I should just leave? <laughs> yeah, I like how he's like, what's happening? I don't want to fight this guy. He's ruining the, the, the tournament. Yeah, so I like how he's, uh, he was just kind of like, I'm just going to, yeah, I'm confused about this thing. So, as always, Shinshu is the most uh, realistic character. One of the more, I think. But I don't, I don't really feel sorry for him. Um, I mean, he wants to have the fight, right? And hopefully the next week he's going to have his uh, his uh, time to shine, I guess. Time in the lim limelight. And uh, again, I like that Sensei was confident. Uh, All Might like, now we have stopped him, right? Deku's going crazy. But I saw, I was like, no, no, no. I believe in my boy. I trained this boy, you know, during the time skip. I trained him for like, in secret and after that. He's, he's ready to beat this guy. He can defeat that, you know, stupid plot armor guy. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, he can win. Oh, she's a lover of course. Of course, she obviously, you know, we all know she's a love of Deku. She comes in here and saves him. I think it was a, it was a great scene. How she um, kind of, of course, remembered episode four, right? One of the best episodes when Deku saves her from the big mecha. And, uh, you know, she was thinking about uh, the hero that saved her parents or kind of saved, but kind of was a hero for her parents, right? And uh, because, you know, her, her main story, right? Or her own backstory is that she wants to be a hero to, you know, help her parents. To make money right uh, but seeing Deku being so heroic makes her be like no no, no I want to save people maybe I should care about being uh, you know a legendary hero versus being like you know for the money right so seeing Deku doing this stuff has made her you know motivated so, so I like that you know, kinda, you know she's jumping in here taking some damage right to save her boy and uh, of course thinking about you know how how she now cares more about being that uh, how I say it? The, what would you call it, really? I don't know. Self, I guess, I guess the whole self-sacrifice kind of Deku thing. Like, yeah, she's like, I'm willing to, you know, die to save Deku, right? It's a good moment for Uruka, definitely. And we talk about the other girls then. So she can uh, use her ghost powers. I think that's the coolest thing actually. It's kind of coming here, flying on this big. Uh, <laughs> because all the girls can make them big, right? So, as I guessed last week, she has. Um, She's a ghost, right? She has the power of uh, poltergeist, which is basically just tele telekinesis. <laughs> she has telekinesis, but she can possess stuff, I guess. But it's clearly telekinesis, but whatever, yeah. Uh, because her outfit, she looks most like a Yuki Wona, I think, to an ice, ice lady, though. But still, generally, her outfit is very like a, like a ghost or one of these ho jumping, hopping zombies, right? And, yeah, like his and two, whatever. Or... Some kind, some kind of beauty, right? So you have the kind of, yeah, the ghost thing going on. So of course she can possess objects with her powers, and she can fly in them and so on. 
Um, so that's cool. The other girls then she could uh, you know, make si stuff big or, or, or small, right? But then he could like, I don't know, he could like double them up or something. <laughs> yeah. We're also having a scout there. It's very Dragon Ball. This guy is like, I can read your power levels over here. It's over 9,000. Uh, and you know, Yamp, he, he, he was kind of like weird and cute. He was like, I know, I know, he's a Dragon Ball scouter. <laughs> I was like, what's happening? But uh, yeah, they all have kind of like a projectile, I guess, uh, combo there. Uh, it's kind of funny in this anime how it feels that they're very like luckily getting teamed up, right? You know what I mean? For example, picture them swapping teams here. Picture like Ashido with uh, the, the girl that can shrink stuff. That wouldn't be very useful. Like maybe, maybe you know what I mean? Like, maybe like that wouldn't be very useful. So it's kind of funny that of course the anime is like let's put up the girl with uh, big and small orbit things with the girl that can shoot stuff, it can levitate them and so on. Yeah, then it can combine the power. They can like do, 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 do. yeah. So <laughs> it's kind of like oh yeah, let's make them team up. <laughs> Definitely, it's very like oh we happen to pick three like you know co control project characters together in the same team. Yeah, it, it happened to be like that. Um, <laughs> it's like, these happen to be a very, very good team up together, yeah. Um, and they're definitely lucky to be together. Still though, it feels like all of them are basically... You know, this team honestly feels pretty be bad <laughs> for Shinsho. So what I mean is that, I mean, picture if my game setting, right? They have like five ranged characters, you know what I mean? They have, they have five people and they're all like low range DPS, man. Yeah, like they have three... People that are like, we can throw objects at them, right? Okay. Then we have one guy's like, I got brain powers. <laughs> I got the power of, you know, yeah, take over your brain. They both have basically, you know, telepathic, tele brain powers, or tele telepathic, yeah, brain powers, mental powers. And then we have one guy that can cope with that stuff. So he can only do the same thing anyway. So they have, they have like five people that are all long range, like I'm throwing stuff at you and they can block it, right? Um, so yeah, they're kind of like, they're kind of stuck with that. Uh, <laughs> they're kind of stuck with having like people with long range abilities. That is, uh, yeah, like they're all, they're, all of them are weak as Deku. One punch from Deku and they're all, they're all out right there. No one that can fight in melee. Uh, <laughs> it's actually a pretty bad matchup at all. They're pretty, that's they, they're a bad team. I mean, they, they can combine the powers are good, good for projectile distance, but no one that can actually fight in melee at all, right? Um, but anyway, anyway, um, that's kind of the view, I guess. Yeah, Deku's getting super overpowered, <sighs> and I feel sorry for Shinsho. Now we're just trying to find more Ashido asset things. There was too little of you know, Alien Queen's uh, body. Um, I guess I kind of like that he actually kind of attacked him there. Yeah, I mean, you know, he's, uh, he's evoke, tried to provoke him, but I see, uh, yeah, the only thing I say we need a little more, so, let, to less of Ashido though. That's, I was like, we needed more Ashido though, yeah, her oppas are massive, but, I mean, I, I said every week, right, but I think it's insane this, this season, how every time Ashido's on the screen, when she's walking, her ass is massive, her ass are like ridiculous, like, I don't know what they did this season, but they make her, they made her body be twice as big, right, I just keep saying it, but it's like, holy shit, man, every episode of her, it's like, my, my, my god, my god, they are, they just absurdly massive, um, which is like, what is happening? <laughs> what, is, what is happening in this season? Uh, I guess I have to give him some credit in the beginning though. He did actually, you know, combine the power pretty well. And uh, yeah, and he, you know, he's provoking Deku, but he's provoking him in a sense that actually makes sense, right? I'll say one thing though, which I don't get back in this episode. How is he moving so fast? He has coped with the powers, but how is he moving so fast? Because none of them can actually fight. The, like I said, they all have like projectile long range abilities, right? And brain powers. He's like jumping around and doing card flips and you know, he's like, how can he do this stuff? He's clearly jumping like, you know, the several meters, right? So uh, it doesn't make any sense actually. Because he shouldn't be able to jump between the pipes as well because none of their power. I mean, maybe if he used her like poltergeist power to jump, but only does it once. The other times he used to jump by his own physical strength, right? So he's a very, very physical strong power, people, because he can, he can jump like 10 times further than a normal human can without having the power. I mean, I'm just saying, like, come on, how is he jumping so fast? Um, but otherwise, yeah, the, 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 the cloning power, pretty good power spots for a team up here. You just, you know, 
touch them before the fight starts, get all the powers, makes the time being a limit though, right? Makes him be uh, set on a timer limit. And maybe he's gonna clone all the powers. Uh, interesting if he touched Deku, can he now learn the new uh, Black with Lightning thing? Hmm. Uh, anyway, guys, that's a review, guys. Please like button, of course, today we're doing an anime. Saturday has so many animes, right? And all the animes coming Shadow House, Vivi, Nagator, of course, and then One Piece. And I heard that One Piece, I do believe, have a new open today. I do believe One Piece has a new open today. So I'm very excited because I think One Piece is finally going to show my favorite Bano character in the opening, probably. If, if there's a new opening in One Piece, uh, whenever that comes, I have a very hard time seeing that opening, the next opening, not showing the, f the best character of Arno. And, and also, of course, all, all other Kaido members and so on, Clytis or whatever, but especially my favorite character. Um, uh, but anyway, guys, have a great day, and I'll see you guys next video. We'll be on Twitch then. It'll be uh, Vivi. Bye, see you guys now.